Welcome to my channel. Most of you probably know me for my shooting with uh, Hasselblad cameras, very expensive digital cameras, but uh, this time I'm doing something quite different and it's gonna be, I hope, at least a series of uh, reviews of old analog cameras uh, for the beginner. Many people uh, who are going into analog photography like to choose uh, some of the very well-known brands like uh, Olympus, Canon, uh, Minolta uh, cameras. But uh, I have uh, chosen another camera for this uh, first uh, video uh, and it's a Cousine camera. Um, Many of you might not know this brand, but actually Cosina has produced uh, cameras for many other of the well-known brands, like for instance for Canon and for Nikon as well. Um, so they actually are renowned within uh, the industry, but uh, not by the consumer very much. This is a Cosina CT1 Super. It's uh, one of their best, very simple cameras uh, uh, that make it uh, um, quite uh, nice to use for the beginner. If you want to learn analog photography, uh, what is the best thing to get? An automatic camera that can do uh, everything for you? Uh, definitely not in my opinion, because then you won't learn to shoot uh, with an analog camera and uh, what actually all the settings uh, mean to your uh, final image. So for instance, this camera has a built-in light meter, uh, but it's not, uh, it's not uh, making any adjustments automatically. You have to do it yourself. So you can actually uh, take a decision to make something different from what the light meter tells you. And uh, another very nice thing about this camera is that uh, it actually um, functions without the battery. So even though it has a light meter, which is depending on the battery, if the battery is flat, you can still shoot. It uh, doesn't rely on it. It has a fully mechanical shutter. And one of the nice things that you can see here on this wheel is that it goes all the way down to one two thousandth of a second, which uh, in very cheap analog cameras is quite unusual. So that's uh, another very nice aspect of this uh, camera. Otherwise it's very simple. Um, you often get it with the lenses like this one. Uh, Cosina's own lenses, uh, often named branded uh, Cosinon. Uh, and this one is a 50 millimeter 1.8, sorry. I also have a 1.7. But you can also get them uh, with uh, other lenses like uh, this one. Uh, it's a zoom lens going from 35 to 70 millimeter and it also has a macro uh, capability. Although I would say macro in this uh, respect is not mm, what we normally define as macro. It's not like a one to one, it's maybe one to five. So the, the uh, image, uh, or sorry, the, the subject you are photographing will be around uh, one-fifth of the size it originally is on, on the film, not on the sensor. I was about to say sensor, but this is an analog camera, so you have to load film into it. And um, it's simple and uh, like uh, all old analog cameras, uh, but very nice. And this one, uh, it seems, you can see it from the pressure plate here. It seems like it hasn't been used a lot. Uh, so I just got this camera uh, for like 20 bucks, <laughs> 20 euro uh, with this lens, quite, quite cheap, um, but uh, it performs well. And uh, let's go and have a look at what kind of images it can make.
There's another reason to get the, this camera. It's because it uses Pentax K mount and you can get a lot of lenses. This is an Auto Revenant, which is actually made by Cosina and it's an 82-205 millimeter. That's only one of the many lenses I have. Of course, you can, uh, as is a Pentax K mount, you can buy Pentax lenses. This is a 50 millimeter f 1.7 lens, uh, very nice lens and very small, as you can see, uh, compact to walk around with. There's also uh, brands like this uh, Chinon. Uh, well, it's not it's not a real uh, well known brand, but it's also made by by Cusina, actually. This is a 135 millimeter f 2.8 lens, and. Uh, the name Tamron might uh, seem familiar. They made a special system with adapters on the back, which could adapt to any of the old SLR cameras. And uh, this Tamron is a 24 millimeter um, f 2.5, I think, yes it is. And it's pretty sharp. I used it on modern digital cameras. It uh, provides pretty good uh, image. So you can get those. And uh, then Sigma also is a familiar brand. And they made uh, some zooms for this camera. This is a 28 to 80 millimeter zoom, which is also quite nice. Um, so you can get almost anything and the prices are pretty low because there's so much available. So that's a really good reason to, to choose this camera. Well, I hope you liked the review, let's call it, of a Cosinon CT1 Super. Uh, very cheap analog cameras. Uh, very old but very well functioning and uh, maybe you won't be so afraid to buy one of the unknown brands uh, at least for most people this will never be the first one to choose but i think it should be because it's a very nice camera and it uh, can make very nice pictures and the cosinon lenses are actually <laughs> pretty good uh, so that's why i think it's a good choice if you want to make uh, some analog photography and you want a cheap option to go with at first and learn a lot about analog photography and that's the basis of all kind of photography even if you shoot digital today it's um, it's a good thing once in a while to go out and shoot analog photography but i'll be looking at some of my other cameras as well uh, in the future so um, Hope you like the video please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos from my side uh, reviews of uh, lenses on my Hasselblad camera or uh, things like this thank you very much for this time and bye for now